Hey guys, welcome to your yoga-inspired cardio flow. You can start in a child's pose and just start to breathe deeply as you settle yourself. We'll be moving pretty quickly through this, trying to get the heart rate up and burning some calories, and you will probably get pretty sweaty. So just start with those few breaths, calming down the mind, so you can stay focused right here. When you feel ready, you can add a little wiggle in the fingers. We'll start simple, but we will build as we go. So roll forward into your tabletop. And then just sink your hips from side to side. You're sweeping them back by your heels, up and around to the other side. Just like a pendulum, trying to send some warming sensations into the outsides of your hips. And then you can settle into a table. Take three cat cows, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, open heart forward. And exhale to round. Couple more. Even though we're moving quickly through this, try and keep connected to your breath. It's going to help calm you down when it gets a little bit crazy. Now stretch your left leg straight back, right fingers forward. Starting to find some length across your back thigh and front arm as you reach a little further, take an inhale. Squeeze knee and elbow as you exhale. Reach long inhale, knee and elbow tap exhale. You're gonna keep doing this slow at first, starting to make some space in your spine, warming your belly. And then as you find your motion, let's pick up the pace just a bit. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze. Keep going. Just a few more left shoulder plugs down your back, already starting to find that quicker motion. Let's come back to center, knee down, take it to the other side, right leg back, left fingers forward. Pause to feel some length to get a little more expansive. Take an inhale to reach and exhale to squeeze and tap. Again, inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Two more slow really getting it in the body, finding that navel to spine, exhale. And then pick up your pace, going out and in, out and in, reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze, just finding a little more motion for warming. Now bring everything back down, tuck your toes, lift your hips back into a down dog, pedal out the knees a couple times, Making sure we're warm in those legs. Our hamstrings are a bit open. So there's little bits and pieces of this yoga mixed in. But our focus will be on building your heart rate up. Let's curl the hands back to your feet. Hips distance forward fold. Then bend your knees a ton. Roll up to stand. Sweep the palms overhead. Maybe circle the wrists. And then bring hands together at your heart as you Forward fold, dive in half. Take a half lift. Exhale fold. Again, roll through your spine all the way up to stand. Hands reach high. Exhale forward fold. Just getting a little bit bigger, halfway lift. Exhale fold. Roll up. Palms reach. Now this time, hands to heart. Bend your knees. Take a squat as your booty moves back. You want to feel your weight shift into your heels. Nice depth in the thighs, reach your arms forward, then as you rise, press your palms back. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. So squat press. This is layer one, right? There's always ways to modify. So this is where you will stick if you want to avoid jumping today. Now if you're ready, press through the feet and start to lift up off the ground springing through your toes, swinging your hands back behind you, just a few this first round. Of course, you can stick with that squat press if you don't want to hop. Rise up, reach your hands to the sky, inhale, and forward fold. Half lift to walk it out to your plank. We'll keep this pretty continuous. Once you find a plank, hold it with shoulders over hands. Sink your butt back as you bend your knees, and then press out back into your plank. Inhale, booty back. Exhale, shoot it to plank. A few more times. You're warming the shoulders, getting a little speed, a little more activation in the core. Bend and press. Bend and press. It also warms those hips and thighs nicely. 
and get some rotation in the hip sockets. Take this last one back into down dog and right away walk your hands to your feet. We're gonna repeat. Come up into your squat, bend your knees, hands reach forward, press through legs and rise up. Again, stick with this. If you wanna avoid jumping, otherwise hop and press through the feet. As you take these few rounds, you don't have to be too precise with how many there are. You just wanna keep the focus on your breath. And let's rise up, reach hands high, forward fold. Half lift walks you back to your plank. Same thing when you get there. We'll add on a little bit more. This time as you bend your knees, twist them to one side and shoot out straight into your plank. Bend the knees, twist towards left shoulder, shoot it to your plank. Knees towards right shoulder, shoot it out. So you're adding a twist. Feel it in the low belly while you keep shoulders square. Just the knees point side to side. Keep it going, get some repetition. Find your own pace all the way through this. And then downward dog. And we'll do this another round. Walk your hands to feet. Bend knees, sit low, and let's go. Jumping or pressing. Either way, you know the motion. You got your rhythm. Breathe as you go. And your body should be getting pretty toasty right away. Rise up, hands reach high, forward fold. Walk it out, plank. Now, last time. And this time, set up your hands as wide as your mat or just outside your shoulders. Move into some wide arm push-ups, elbows out, push the floor away. Now, keep going, repetition, slow or fast. Option to drop your knees to the floor so you keep your spine really long. You'd rather your form be good in these than to sacrifice that length of spine, but keep going how you need. A few more, just to get those arms strengthened and then sit back to a brief child's pose. Take a breath, shake out, circle the wrists. We will move on from here. Make sure you're breathing in between the sets. Down dog. Now let your right leg lift all the way up. Open hip, bend your knee briefly. Shift forward, top right knee, right elbow. Three-legged dog and right knee, left elbow twist. Three-legged, use your breath. Drive knee to nose and step between your hands. Rising a crescent lunge, sweep the palms up. Soften your back knee, but bend deep into your front thigh. That right knee is going to stay directly above your right heel. We'll move the upper body here. Exhale to hinge forward, fly your hands behind your back. Long back leg. Inhale, soften back knee, rise up. Exhale, hinge and fly. Get the spine moving here. Build a little more space, a little more length. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fly. Inhale, lift. Keep that front knee bent. Now fly forward, stay. Reach your fingers straight forward overhead. Keep the weight in your right heel and drive left knee into chest while your elbows drag into your sides inhale to reach long exhale knee in elbows back inhale reach exhale squeeze now find your balance possibly picking up the pace here you go out in out in pick your pace doesn't have to be this fast slower you go the more balance you'll have to find but can you keep your right knee in the same exact spot and your spine super long your exhale is on the way in. Keep it going. Almost there. And we'll land in crescent as you step back. Reach your arms high. You'll only hear a moment. Take your palms together at your heart. Bend that back knee a ton and take a little pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So straight down. You're trying to roll your tailbone down towards the earth. Front knee is still bent. Left knee is really deeply bent. Last few shoulders down the back. Just burning out that front thigh. Now slowly rise. Turn your toes towards your left. And take a parallel star pose. Shake it out if you need. Hands reach out wide to the sides. Bend your left knee and tap your right hand to your left foot. And come back through center. Bend your right knee. Tap left hand to right foot. Bring it through center. Side to side. Tap opposite hand to foot. As you bend the knee you're going towards. Twist and rise. Twist and rise. 
Again, you do not have to stick with my pace. Once you get the motion, you get to find a little more freedom in them. Now as you go quicker, you might stay hinging forwards. You're closer to those legs. And you add a little more emphasis on the exhale as you twist. Even quicker if you want to play there. Keep going, keep bending the knee you're going towards, slicing through the air with your palms. We'll take about 10 more. Keep going, keep bending, keep reaching. And as you close out, rise back up to stand, lengthen legs and arms. Heels in, toes out, bend your knees into a horse pose. Get a little bit more here. Tap the floor. Lengthen legs. Reach your arms up overhead. Bend and tap. Reach it up. This is layer one. Stick with it unless you want to add a hop. You can sit low and press as you pounce through the floor. Tapping the floor just lightly with your fingertips as you bend your knees a ton. We're not here forever, I promise. Hold in your horse pose. Take a little pulse. 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 We're going to do that again from the top. Take a second to catch your breath. Feel the work in your thighs. And let's start again. Tap and reach. Either that or full jump. Tap and jump. Tap and jump. Try and keep your spine really long even as you tap the floor. Press through the balls, mounds of the feet. Now hold your horse. Pulse. Pulse. The legs should be pretty tired at this point. But can you fight for one more round? A little pulse. Pulse. Pulse, knees wide, the last set, tap floor and reach or hop. You got about five more. Keep pressing, keep breathing and hold that pulse. Last time you're here, I promise bend your knees a lot. Stay low, fight through the discomfort and rise all the way up. You can tell by my face, it's not easy. Forward fold as you turn your heels back. Shake it out a little bit. Hip side to side. We're going to crawl towards the left foot at the back of the mat. Just stepping back into a high plank. Rolling shoulders over palms. Take a shoulder tap here. So left hand, right shoulder, right hand, left shoulder. This is option one. Just stick with that. Or add the feet at the same time. As you tap opposite shoulder, you reach opposite foot to the side. Last layer, maybe you hop the feet while you tap the shoulders. You'll soften the knees. Take a plank jack in the lower half, shoulder tap in the upper half. Try and keep the booty low. I know mine is lifting a little bit, but bend your knees more. Any version of this, the first layer, second or third. We'll meet in down dog, child's pose. Drop knees, sit the hips back. Take some breaths here. The point of these rests is to breathe. Might be getting a little sweaty. I know I am. Meet me back in down dog. I know it's not a long rest. We got a little bit more. Reach your left leg up. Open hip, bend your knee. Just one more side. Bring your left knee to left elbow squeeze. Three-legged, left knee, right elbow twist. Getting that breath connection. Three-legged dog, step your foot between your hands. You already know this part, rise up to a crescent lunge, get solid in your legs, feel where that front knee is above your heel, take an inhale at the top, hinge forward, fly your hands behind you with the exhale, building that flow, inhale to lift, rise, exhale to hinge, fly, your back leg gets straight when you fly, soften it as you rise up. This is your last one. Hinge and fly. Stay here, but reach your hands forward. Slow at first. Drive elbows in and right knee to chest. Feel your belly work here. Inhale, reach long. And exhale to squeeze. Inhale, reach. Your spine stays long. Contracting in the belly. Feel free to add that quicker pace. Whatever you did on the first side. A lot of work in the standing leg, so make sure your left knee stays bent the whole time. Try to keep your weight in your left heel. In and out. Exhales on the way in. Keep it going. Play with this. I know it might get wobbly. Make it uncomfortable. Can you fight for your version of this challenge? And then take your crescent lunge. Rise up. 
hands to heart, bend both knees. Try to stack the back knee underneath your hip and pulse. Pulse. Can you bring shoulders above hips? Trying to find length in the spine, depth in those legs, just till they burn a bit. Breathing all the way through. Lengthen legs. Turn toes towards your right shoulder. Shake it out. All right. Keep your feet parallel. Bend your knees a lot. Tap one hand to the floor, one hand to the sky. Then rise up. Tap the other hand to the floor. Or add a hop in between. Hop in, out, tap. In, out, tap. So one of my favorite cardio bursts. Staying low in the legs. You're bending the knees on the way out. To modify, you'll bend and tap the floor in the middle of your legs. But if not, keep the hop in and out, skimming the floor with those feet. Coming all the way upright in between. And adding a little twist of the body in the middle. Give it some time to let the heart rate elevate. Let that warmth start to spread. Also getting some nice squats here so your booty gets toned. Take it to the top. Wide-legged fold. Drop in. Not as long here the second time. That is the good news. We got a little more still. Crawl towards your right foot. Step back into your high plank. Last time in a plank. My other favorite cardio burst. Bring one knee to chest and then the other. Start to alternate this march fight for it. I know it's hot. I know you're tired, but maybe you start to pick up the pace in these mountain climbers. I like twisting mountain climbers opposite knee to elbow, but take what you need here, keeping the booty low, spine long, shoulders over hands. Let the intensity build. You can do this. Stay in it. Core strong. Breath strong. Keep your focus. Drive right through all the way to the other side. High plank. Come on down to your belly. Let's meet there. Untuck your toes. Take hands wide, wide outside your mat and take a few cobras. Inhale, heart lifts up. Exhale, chest melts, melts down. Just trying to get that soft quality back in your body after all that fast movement. Mm, lift chest, sink back. Find your child's pose. This is where we're going to end for today. Feel free to, to tack on a flow class right after this. That way you get the muscles stretched out. But thanks for sweating with me. And I'll see you next time.